Hey folks, today I want to talk more Battletech stuff, and as you can probably already tell, uh, I am really a terrain head. I've always loved great terrain on my wargaming tabletop and Battletech. Uh, as I'm getting into Battletech, it is no exception, and I have had the pleasure of running into a couple of great vendors that produce some amazing uh, resin or 3D printed Battletech terrain, and I wanted to share this out with you uh, to all the other Battletech fans out there as I'm getting back into the game and I'm seeing what's out there and, and really what pops on the tabletop. And another one of the uh, vendors that I have found, uh, fortunately, for Battletech terrain uh, for the tabletop, that being either Alpha Strike or even Classic Battletech. And in a future video, I'm going to do a little bit about a, a hexless system of Battletech uh, that my gaming group and I are, are working on. It's very similar to other ones out there, but we're making kind of those homegrown, those home rules, house rule tweaks uh, to make uh, the games really pop. But this this type of terrain that we're looking at here is very, uh, very good for that sort of thing. So I wanted to share that with you and kind of give you a little bit of a review of uh, the terrain provided by a company called Steel Warrior Studios. Uh, so I found these guys online, um, and I really enjoy uh, the offering that they have. They've got, they've got some great, um, they've got some great terrain out there, and uh, I wanted to share it out with you. I just got it in the mail today. I ordered it uh, about a week ago, a little less than a week ago, um, and I just got here, and I'm super excited to uh, to share this with you and kind of unpack it. So again, Steel Warrior Studios. Uh, they make some uh, 3D print. I think it's 3D printed. I don't think it's um, cast. I think it's 3D printed. Pretty confident it is, uh, but I could be wrong on that. But anyway, at any rate, it's really quality looking stuff. I mean, this is, you know, this is resin. Um, it's very, uh, it's kind of got some of those, a little bit of those ridges that you associate with the 3D printing, but they're very subtle. It's like you can, you can barely see them. So I'm not worried about it at all. I don't even think this stuff needs to be sanded, but this is a great uh, little terrain piece. And actually, let me go get a, um, a mech to kind of size compare with this just so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. Um, this stuff is pretty good size, but it's not, uh, it's not so... It's not so big that it looks ridiculous on the tabletop, and it's also not too small. I think it's it's I think it's actually just right size. So I've got a little um, little hunchback here that I just got from Iron Wind Metals. Um, so you can kind of see it next to one of these smaller buildings. So this is a shopping center. We'll talk a little bit about that a little bit more. But uh, if you pr plant it next to a hospital, you know this level one of the hospital, you know it's a it's about half the size of that. You know, and they, you, you can kind of fit them on there. I haven't put this guy in his hex base yet, but you can kind of see how big he is um, in relation to ship to the terrain and to the mech itself. But, you know, it's good scale. Um, I really like it. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, the quality of the, um, of the prints here uh, and the crispness of it is really, really good. So you can obviously kind of see the little hospital emblem there. Um, again, you can kind of see, you know, the side here, they've got, you know, lots of good attention to detail. You can see the, the openings there, you know, battle mech size right there, probably on top of a base, 3D hex base. He's going to be about that big. So anyways, this particular piece that we're looking at, sorry, I haven't really introduced this, but this is a medical center. Um, if you go to the Steel Warrior Studios, uh, webpage, you can get bundles of these. So I, you know, I, I could have got one, but hey, if one is good, two is better, right? So I got uh, two of these hospital buildings. Um, before I go to the other ones that I just got, this one I got in the mail a while ago, and I had the opportunity to paint this up. Um, and it turned out really great. I'm not 100% done painting this guy. Put the airbrush on him, did a little bit of coloring uh, on the windows there. But this is a um, manufacturing plant. Um that you can get on Steel Warrior Studios. It paints up real nice. It takes the paint really well. Uh, you know, it's got a dry brush. Uh, it's got a, well, sorry, it's got a base coat and a, then a dry brush and then some null oil washes to kind of get at that dark concrete look. Um, base white and then some um, Gilliman blue uh, for the windows and then some, uh, what is that? Uh, lead belcher with some null oil wash to give it that kind of that steely color. So that's kind of your gritty, um, you know, industrial, you know, warehouse or not, what not warehouse, your industrial, uh, manufacturing plant sort of looking thing. So these are, uh, some, uh, shopping centers, I believe if I get these wrong, I'll, I'll put the titles in there, uh, correctly. Actually, this is the shopping center. This is, a uh, some other kind of store or some other, I, I forget the name of it. Um, 
but we'll get the names up there on, online. So this is actually a shopping center. You can kind of put these things together in, in different configurations. I don't know if you can see that when you get that actually on the camera, but you can kind of put these shopping centers together. There's other pieces that go with this. Um, you can kind of expand this out. You know, I'm not gonna glue them, but you could if you wanted to. So there's these kind of these smaller kind of individual store or individual increment pieces that you can kind of put together here and sort of make yourself a little corner shopping center on your on your battle grid there. So this I know this one this one's called the shopping center. Uh really I really dig this one. It's kind of nice low terrain. Not everything has to be a mile tall. Here's what a battle mech looks like next to it. Um good stuff. You know this could be good partial cover level one terrain cover. Uh, for those classic Battletech battles. Uh, so that's the shopping center. Really good one. So we've looked at the shopping center. We've looked at the two um, medical centers. Uh, really like these guys. These are nice, uh, irregular shaped buildings with different levels on them. So those are going to find themselves on a tabletop soon. I have another one that's partially painted. I just don't have it out here yet. So um, again, I apologize. I think these are either shopping centers. I can't remember the exact name off the website, but these have really great quality. They've got a little bit of a bevel on the top there. Um, good size. They've got a common theme on the side there too. They've kind of got that, those uh, notches there. I think that kind of makes it look very nice and like, like they belong together as a set. Uh, so a lot of attention to detail paid there. Um, good stuff here. So I've got two of these guys. Um, the quality on the, these are very light. They're hollow. Uh, they're 3D printed. Um, again, really crisp, clean quality. I love them. These have great level of detail on them. Not too much like you're painting every little you know, bolt because on, on this scale, clearly, that's obviously not a good thing. But great level of detail on those guys. Love it. Um, I've got a couple of these. These are residential blocks. So one of the things that you know, these I got these in a, in a, um, a package of two as well. I got the um, expansions so that you can actually make these as tall as you want. There's a bunch of different, um, like there's a there's a topper to these things as well. Let's let's say, hey, I want a, I want an apartment building that tall. Great. Let's get the battle mech in there again for scale. I want an apartment building that big. Great. Oh, I want a taller one. You know, we can keep putting these things on. I got a whole bunch of these, and they're the thing that I love about this terrain is that it's really great quality and it's really reasonably priced. And so these buildings that I got. You know, this did not, this did not set me back a ton of money and they're great quality, good size. Um, you know, we could keep going. I've got a couple more of these things, but I got essentially two, two buildings worth. And I think I got the set that's either six or eight, um, six or eight pieces, you know, six or eight levels each. I can't remember. I'm getting too old for this folks. Memory does not serve, but we'll, you know, we just put these things together. Um, and there you go, right? You got some some decent height residential blocks or hab blocks or whatever you want to call them. Or, you know, I could simply make a shorty if I wanted to. I think, you know, I could magnetize these. Um, and I i don't think I'm going to magnetize them. I think I'm just going to make them the size that I want. I'll probably make a tall one and I'll make a shorter one um, just for some variety. But, um, you know, if you wanted to, it wouldn't take you a whole lot of effort to... Um, make these as you know interchangeable and as configurable as you want. You can just kind of see these go together a very certain way, like that little notch goes there, right? And you can kind of imagine, you know, that's the, that's the front or that's the front either way. And then uh, you must have some elevators to get up atop there. So I think, um, again, this guy doesn't have a base, but if you wanted to, you could probably even get a mech to stand on top of that. I'm not saying they wouldn't go through the roof, uh, you know, 20 tons or 50 tons or, Oh, what's a hunchback weighs 50, I think. Um, you'd probably go through the roof on that one. So I got these, I got all these buildings. I love them. Um, I can't wait to paint these up and get them on the table. Uh, I really like the quality. I love the price point. Uh, you're not going to go wrong with these buildings. Um, I would really encourage you guys to check out Steel Warrior Studios um, and, and check them out. Good, good stuff. I think some other stuff, I might, I hope I'm not... I hope I'm not doing a bad thing here, but I got some additional buildings that I think are fresh off the presses. I got some military complex buildings. Um, and that looks like a little, like a generator or something. This looks maybe like a reinforced bunker of some kind. 
and that's definitely a hanger right there some kind of military hanger you know for vehicles or whatnot again great quality resin um, you know again not too big not too small I could totally see that fitting on a Battletech table um, I think the scale is great so check them out if you haven't looked at Steel Warrior Studios uh, I'm definitely going to be getting a little bit more of this terrain uh, in the near future to fill up a, a, a big Alpha Striker a big Battletech uh, table and uh, I think you I think you're going to like this stuff so definitely check them out well I hope you like this review if uh, you'd like to see more of this stuff give me a comment let me know what you think you know do you like seeing these types of things do you like seeing it with the scale um, you know, tell me, uh, tell me what you guys want to see and we'll get that up on the channel. Thanks for watching.